Hello everybody and welcome back to Dr. Ghost Games. If y'all are new to the channel, welcome. I am Dr. Ghost and today we are going to be revisiting the Friesland. It's been a while since we've been in the Friesland, but uh, yeah. So with all that being said, let's go ahead and take a look at the build I have. So for the upgrades and loadout, we have Aiming Systems Mod 1. We have Propulsion Mod 2. We've got Concealment Systems Mod 1. And we have Gunfire Control Systems Mod 2. Now, you could swap any of these out. Like, on Friesland, it would not be a bad idea to run the AA Guns Mod 3. However, I find that the AA on Friesland is just adequate enough. Um, you could also go even more ridiculous reload on your Friesland and put on Main Battery Mod 3. And, however, I really don't see the point. I find more value in having extra range. Being able to extend my DACA 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 is much more valuable to me. Um, I have Consumer Systems mod on. It's kind of a no-brainer on Destroyers. However, you could swap this out with Steering Gears mod 3 or Target Acquisition. However, I still find more value out of Concealment. And we have Propulsion mod 2 on. This is a very, very nice thing to have in a Destroyer. Some people put on Steering Gears. Some people put on Damage Control. However, I find it more valuable to have the Propulsion. And we also have Aiming Systems mod 1. Um, however, you could swap this out with, once again, if you want to go full AA build, which I think is unnecessary because the Friesland already has great AA. But if you wanted to, you could put that on. Or you could put on main battery mod 2, which I don't think is necessary because the turret traverse is already good enough. Now, for the commander, we have Jersey Swirsky. He's a level 14, legendary 2. For the inspirations, we have Charles Madden, which increases our main battery traverse speed by about 4% and uh, decreases our reload by about 2%. Um, for our second inspiration, we have Vincent Mordoff, which decreases our reload by about almost 6%. For the base trait, we've got uh, C uh, Hide and Seek, which decreases our sea detectability range by about 3%. Um, we've got observant, observant Range, look at me now. We've got Perceptive, we've got Smoke on the Water, and we have Leviathan. Now, another alternative commander you could use is Stig. However, I don't see a lot of value out of this guy because, well, he's kind of a torpedo build commander. But, eh. I mean, it's up to you. And you could also, another another viable option is Conrad. If you want to go with a full AA build, he's actually not a bad commander to use. But, I mean, you could also do some other things with him, like have fully packed to get an extra smoke. You can go will to rebuild. You can do some stupid things with the Friesland, is what I'm trying to say. However, I find most of my value out of my Friesland using Jersey Swirsky. Now, let's go and take a look at the ship. So, for the loadout, we've got high explosive, we've got armor piercing, of course. We've got a damage control party. We've got two smokes, two sonars, which go about go out to about 4.4 for ships. And you can detect torpedoes out to 3.1. The engine boost as well, pretty standard engine boost. And for the flag, we've got the early adopter flag. And the Type 9 camo that the ship comes with, which looks very, very, very snazzy indeed. Now for the survivability, you can get this even higher, but we've got 18,300 hit points. And the armor, non-existent. It's a destroyer. For the artillery, we've got uh, about four 120 millimeter guns. Reach out to 12 kilometers, 1.5 second reload. That's right, you've heard that right, ladies and gentlemen. This thing has a 1.5 second reload. Absolutely redonkulous. <laughs> it, Friesland is, if, if you like gunboats, guys, Friesland is your boat, let me tell you. Friesland is your freaking boat. Now, the 180 degree turn time is phenomenal, just under seven seconds. So, like I said, 180 degree turn time is just perfect enough. You don't really need to spec into it at all. The HE shell maximum damage, 1700, which is a little low. Um, the fire setting chances is, ac is actually pretty high for a destroyer, 8%, especially the gun caliber. They're only 120 millimeter guns, and yet they have an 8% fire chance, which is pretty damn spicy. And for the AP maximum shell damage is 2100. A defense is phenomenal, phenomenal on the Friesland. Uh, there's no doubt in my mind that the Friesland is literally the best AA, AA destroyer in the game currently. And it's an absolute behemoth for AA. Um, you've got a bunch of 40mm Bofors that reach out to 3.5, and you've got some 120mm um, 50 Bofors, which reach out to about 5.2. So the AA on Friesland is something that you should be very, very concerned about when you are a carrier. For the maneuverability, 34.9 knots, which is a little slow for a destroyer, not gonna lie. The uh, turning circle radius, 620 meters, it's alright. The rudder shift is pretty bad, 4.5 for a destroyer. Yeah, the maneuverability could be better, but hey, 
That's what that's about what you'd expect with a gunbow of this caliber. Now for the C detectability range, we've got about 5.6 on our build. Detectability by air 3.2, guaranteed is 2 kilometers, and detectability while firing in smoke is 2.6. Here's the armor, basically non-existent all across the board. Don't be taking hits. It's got no armor. For the overview, it's got reloader, it's tough, and full circle. Uh, the Friesland was the lead ship in a series of sub submarine hunters used by the Dutch Navy. The ship carried various anti-submarine weapons as well as 120mm Bofors, dual-purpose uh, naval guns, which are the guns you see on the front and the back of the ship. Um, and uh, was one of the most uh, effective pieces of arm armament of the post-war uh, the post-war period. She entered, uh, entered service in 1956, therefore she is a uh, Cold War era destroyer, and there was eight in the series. Now with all that being said, enough talky talky, let's go ahead and get right into the match. I will see you all there, I hope you do enjoy it. Alrighty, so here we are in the Friesland. So this thing is an absolute powerhouse of a destroyer and it's it has no torpedoes i don't think i mentioned that in the review portion of this video it has no torpedoes don't let that fool you however the the, the firepower on this destroyer is something it's just something crazy <laughs> like 1.5 second reload on these guns now in the match i i believe i was using a different inspiration i had i believe william sims on which increased my health up to 21,000 hit points. So keep that in mind. Um, I don't have a full, full reload inspirations. I don't have all the reload inspirations on. However, um, don't let that fool you. The, a, the, the, the freaking the, the guns on this thing are just fine enough. They're phenomenal. Um, so, yeah. Now, here's what we're going to be doing. We're going to be going into the alpha cap. We're going to start capping. And notice that there are three destroyers on the enemy team, so we need to keep an eye out for those. However, um, I don't think that we're going to come across the DDs as much in this game. We're just going to be doing a lot of DACA, DACA, DACA on these battleships, which is what this thing can be all about. However, one thing you need to watch out for is people pushing you. Um, because remember, Friesland has no torpedoes, so... If somebody decides to push your smoke screen, you need to be you need to make sure that you are ready to get the fuck out of there because you don't have torpedoes. You cannot defend yourself. So if people are being aggressive, you need to get out of your smoke screen and run away. It's the only option you have. Um, especially if it's a battleship or a cruiser. However, if a destroyer if a destroyer decides to rush you, well, I guess they would call that a bold strategy cotton, and you can probably absolutely daka 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 it down. Remember, Friesland is a destroyer killer, no matter what. This thing has phenomenal guns. It's got phenomenal, phenomenal, phenomenal firepower. I don't know how many times I'm going to say it, but yeah. I'm, I'm definitely going to say it right now, though, that the Friesland is the king of the daka daka. It's the king of the gunboats. No doubt in my mind. So, any destroyer that decides to take a fight with a Friesland, um, they are a bold one. <laughs> they are a bold one indeed. Now, we're up to 16,000 damage. We've got two fires set. Remember, we've got an 8% fire chance on our Friesland. Absolutely phenomenal for a destroyer. Um, well, not phenomenal, but I'd say it's pretty damn good. 8% fire chance is a little above average. Um, the average fire chance for any destroyer is about 5%, so having an extra 3% to our fire chance is pretty nice indeed. Now, here's what I was talking about, how uh, people rushing you. Yeah, that battleship is rushing us, along with that Friesland. What do we do? We get the fuck out of there. We're not going to sit in that smoke, sc smoke screen and let them kill us. We need to get the hell out of here, which is what we're doing. We're twisting, we're turning, we're trying to dodge these incoming shells, which is almost, it's almost impossible at this range. Um, but before anything, I want to take out this Benham. This Benham has been a pain in my side, and we are about to take him out, just like so. Down he goes, that's our first kill of the, kill of the game. We're up to 25,000 damage, and now we need to disengage. We need to disengage. Um, if we stay spotted for any longer, we will probably die. So, what we're doing here is we are stopping, we're stopping, we're stop, we stop shooting, we're, uh, we're gonna pop our damage control in about five seconds, and we should be able to get the hell out of here and go unspotted, just like so. There we go. Now, we are left on 3,800 hit points. It's not looking very good for us. However, don't give up. We can still 
absolutely burn down these battleships. Now notice the islands off our starboard side here. We are going to make good use of these islands, and we are going to begin the Daka Daka process on these battleships. Now remember, we took out the enemy Benham, so we don't got to worry about any destroyers on this flank. As far as I am concerned, we have done our job. We have supported our team on this side of the map. Now it's up to my other teammates on the other side of the map to do their job as well. Um, I would love to go out there and fight those destroyers. However, I can't do anything until this side is cleared up. So we are going to start opening up on this Odin. Odin is basically... He's not really paying attention to us anymore. He's too busy with the Atlanta in front of him and the uh, battleship. So we're going to take this opportunity here to get some free damage, some free Daka Daka, and we're just going to begin the burn down process. Um, and, and that's what this thing's all about. The Friesland is a gunboat, remember. It's got no torpedoes. It's literally designed to just Daka 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 Daka, daka all day, every day, six ways from Sunday. That's the Friesland right there in a nutshell. And I love it. <laughs> I fucking love this thing. It's an absolute ball to play, and honestly, if you guys don't have the Friesland, I would suggest picking it up if you like gunboats. If you like gunboats, you gotta get this thing. This is a must-have in your port, because it's like the best gunboat DD, uh, DD in the game. Pretty much. Um, now, we're up to 32,000 damage. The, our team has managed to take out two out of the three destroyers. Our team also managed to take out that Odin that decided to rush my smokescreen and then rush into my teammates. So, there you go. There's that. Now, there's an enemy Missouri on the uh, enemy team there, which is surprising. Uh, I've, been, I've been seeing a lot more Missouris lately, so, I mean, that's pretty cool. But, uh, yeah, no matter what ship you're in, you're still gonna, you're still gonna get burnt down, especially uh, when it's a Friesland. So, we're just gonna keep on daka daka dacking. We're using this island for cover so we don't get spotted. Um, and, yeah, we're just gonna get some free, free hits here. On this Missouri he's not having a good time like he is just not having a good time at all now Leon gets spotted and uh, he spots us so we sm decide to smoke up here it's our last smoke of the game so we might as well as use it and just like that we already got two fires um, and yeah these guys are just barbecuing that they're just barbecuing that's what this is all about here um, we're still just firing these guns over and over and over again and that is all she wrote, really. That's what this thing's all about, guys. It's about the Daka Daka. Embrace it. It's, it is, uh, yeah. It is just something else. Just watch. Just take a minute to watch it. And yeah, I even, <laughs> funny enough, I even start switching targets here. I'm just playing with these guys at this point. I'm switching back and forth between targets. <laughs> you gotta love it. <laughs> you gotta freaking love it. Oh, yes. <clears throat> Maximizing my Daka Daka potential here. Isn't it great? Now, Missouri did put out my fires, so I'm going to see if I can get another fire on him. And it's really just never-ending fire, isn't it? It's just, yeah. It is just phenomenal. Now, one thing I didn't mention about the Friesland is that it has, um, it ha it's a tier 7 premium, which means it makes a lot of money. So, it's kind of great that you can have a lot of fun with this thing and make a lot of money with it, too. Like, I'm, I, on average, make about 300 to 500,000 credits a game with this thing, even without boosters. So, this thing's a credit earner, it's, it's very fun, it's, a lot, it's a, just a blast to play, and really, yeah, I have nothing wrong to say about the Friesland, man. Friesland is just one of those freaking boats. Now, Kagero gets spotted, he's on no HP. We're gonna take some shots out there and see if we can't take him out, um, because, like I said, he's on no HP. However, our Oland takes him out. Down goes the uh, last remaining destroyer for the enemy team. Our team has done phenomenal up to this point. Um, our team has taken out all three of the destroyers. They've taken out three battleships. They've got the caps on the other side of the map. And all that is left for us to do is take out these guys over here. Now, there's the Rochester, which is one of the newer um, American cruisers. Um, I might actually pick that thing up. I don't know. But, uh, yeah. Until then... We're just going to burn it down and, uh, yeah, do things to that poor Rochester. Rochester is smoking up, so we're just going to keep on daka dacking here. Now he takes a shot at us with his 8-inch guns, and uh, we will dodge that no problemo. No problemo. And we're just going to keep on daka daka dacking That's literally all this thing's about. <laughs> there you go. And we're just going to keep on... We're going to keep the fire up on this Rochester. Rochester fires another salvo at us. We dodge it with ease. And uh, really, we're not too concerned there. Now, we're taking some shots at this enemy Leon. 
and Leon should die any second. Our teammates are all concentrating their fire on him. And uh, once he goes down, that is the match won. So basically at this point, there is nothing else left for us to do. And I'm going to real quick uh, thank you all for watching this one. I hope you all did enjoy it. If you guys did, please be sure to go down there, hit that like button, subscribe, leave a comment. Tell me what you guys thought of this one today. And with all that being said, I hope you all have a great one. I will catch you guys on the next one. Peace out. Stay healthy. As always.